Welcome to News 3. I'm Kurt Williams. Topping our headlines, the verdict is down for a man charged in the 2011 death of the person you, you see here, ODU student Christopher Cummings. Rashad Dooley found not guilty on multiple charges, including first-degree murder, use of a firearm, and armed burglary. He was found guilty on conspiring to commit first-degree murder, conspiracy to commit burglary, and attempt to commit robbery. He was one of four men accused of killing Chris Cummings. Two of the three other men charged in the case had their cases deemed mistrials. The case against the third was dismissed. A York County teenager facing charges in connection with bomb threats toward a school and threatening a staff member. Deputies charged a 14-year-old Bruton High School student yesterday. The York Pocosin Sheriff's Office and the York County School Division tell us they are taking all reports seriously. In a news release, the York County School Division said, quote, this is an opportunity for us to remember our words have meaning and we cannot and we will not dismiss reported threats as pranks, jokes, or lapses in judgment, end quote. All right, time now for a check on our forecast with Chief Meteorologist Patrick Rocky. Well, hi, Kurt. Yeah, technically it is still summer, but it certainly felt very fall like today, topping out around 80 in Virginia Beach, upper 70s for Newport News and Chesapeake, around 80 degrees in Elizabeth City. For tomorrow, we're going to have more sunshine than we did today. We had some stubborn clouds today, and so that sunshine will help warm us up a little bit more than today, it looks like. 82 in Hampton and Gloucester, 83 for our forecast high in Suffolk. We'll top out around 84 in Elizabeth City. Low 80s also for Norfolk and Newport News, around 83 for our friends in Chesapeake. Peak. We have another cold front that's going to knock us down into the upper 70s to around 80. Very pleasant weather on Friday. Uh, we do start a warming trend for the weekend. It should be dry and by Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, we expect high temperatures in the upper 80s and the lower 90s.